Hey, what's up? My name is Daniela and welcome to a new reading vlog. So it's Monday and I'm still a little bit sick but I feel better than during the weekend so hopefully it will get better. I'm currently reading three books. The first one is Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin and Joe Dominguez. This is a non-fiction book about personal finance, financial independence and stuff like that. I'm currently about 50% in and I'm quite enjoying it. There have been a couple of interesting points, but it's not like overly entertaining <laughs> so far. So we'll see. Uh, the second book I'm currently reading is What If It's Us by Vicky Albertelli and Adam Silvera. This is a young adult contemporary about two boys who meet and there will be a romance. It hasn't started yet, so I'm, I don't know how far into it I am, but like they have met but they haven't met for the second time, so yeah. <laughs> and the third book I'm currently reading is Dreaming Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. This I started reading only yesterday and I'm 28 pages in. This is a um, paranormal or fantasy young adult book and it's about this girl called Blue whose family has some paranormal abilities. They can predict future to some point and they predicted that when she falls in love and kisses her true love, he will die. Um, and there are also some boys uh, attending a school for rich people so we have met a couple of those and I guess they will become friends and like there will be some quest to find some king <laughs> I really don't know much about the plot and this is how I like going into books so yeah we'll see how I like it so far I would say that the beginning was pretty good so yeah I'm intrigued but yeah, right now it's 10.30 in the morning and I've been recovering from a cold and I would really like to get better very soon because on Wednesday there is another Zumba class I attended last week so I would really like to go to the same class because I really liked the instructor and the songs and all of that but I'm not sure if I will be able to go there only two days from now but yeah, we'll see. So this morning I worked a little bit and right now I'm about to start editing last week's vlog and in the afternoon I have some more work to do and also it's bank holiday today but like that doesn't really apply if you're a freelancer so yeah all the stores and stuff are closed but I have to work but I guess I also will be doing some chores in the afternoon like I guess I need to iron, so that's the perfect time to listen to an audiobook. So I guess I should get back into What If It's Us because otherwise I will forget what it was about. I would really love to start filming regular sit-down videos very soon, but like I need to get completely well first because this level of energy ain't it, so hopefully I will be able to film some regular videos very soon. Wish me luck. Saturday. Remember how I said on Monday that 
I really want to get better. Well, I guess you do because it was like a minute ago for you. But instead of getting better, I got much worse. I had a really nasty cold. So I haven't vlogged and I haven't been outside the whole week. So there's that. But life update. <laughs> Yesterday I bought tickets for an Avril Lavigne concert and I can't wait. It's happening in March and like Avril Lavigne was everything to me uh, in middle school. I loved the first two albums then I was very disappointed when she did uh, Girlfriend, was it called, I think. Yeah, and then like I registered what the hell, but then I lost touch, but now I'm ready for the nostalgia. And also yesterday I was able to film a first sit-down video since May, so that's huge. Yeah, I filmed my uh, non-fiction November TBR, which is up now, so you can check it out. And today I also finally finished a book, yay! So I finished reading What If It's Us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera, and I really liked it. It was too long, like the past couple of hours I was kind of ready to be done with it, and in the beginning it took me a while to get into it. So as I've probably mentioned, it's about two high school boys who meet at the post office and Arthur is uh, interning in New York for the summer and Ben is a New Yorker and they meet at the post office while Ben is trying to post his uh, ex-boyfriend stuff to him. They meet there but they don't take each other's numbers so they are lost and then they search for each other and then they meet again and it's basically about their relationship. So I've heard a lot of people saying that their relationship was a disaster and that they didn't have any chemistry and I disagree. I thought it was pretty clear that they were very into each other. Our problem was that they both had issues so Ben was still not 100% over his ex-boyfriend and also he was insecure and lacking in the communication department and author everything was new to him in terms of dating especially dating guys and he was overexcited and very angsty and this put a lot of pressure on Ben so they were making each other happy a lot of the times, but other than that, I really liked them. Well, I liked Arthur much more than Ben, but I couldn't dislike him because he was just a teenager figuring out stuff and I really liked them together once they learned to communicate more. And yeah, it, it was just super cute. I read two books by Becky Albertelli and I really enjoyed both of them. And I could really see her style in this one. I haven't read anything by Adam Silvera, so I don't know about that. But yeah, I thought that the format like that we got both their perspectives was great. And I really liked the audiobook, like the actor who narrated author was awesome. So yeah, my main complaint is that it was too long and some parts could be shorter, but other than that I was thinking that it might be either a three or a four stars, but it really made me feel things and I like the ending, so I think it's going to be four stars. I'm really glad I ended up enjoying it because I've heard more negative than positive reviews. So now I'm still reading two books. I'm still reading The Raven Boys. I'm currently on page 126, which doesn't sound like much, but I don't know. I'm really enjoying it, but it's a little bit slower. Like, I haven't been able to read big chunks of it at a time, but right now it's going to be my priority, so hopefully I will be able to get through it in a couple of days. So far I quite like Genzi and Adam, but from what I've gathered the series 
puts a bigger emphasis on Ronan's story. And I'm also still reading Your Money or Your Life. I don't think I've touched that since Monday. And yeah, I would also really like to finish this in a couple of days. So currently it's 1 o'clock p.m. and I would really like to go outside, finally. Although it's rainy today, but I just really need to get out. But first I probably need to get out of my pyjamas and wash my hair. It's Sunday and I washed my hair yesterday and it's doing a weird thing today but I've decided that instead of trying to use some product or something I'm just going to pretend that this was what I was going for so yeah we're rolling with it so yesterday I ended up having a really great afternoon slash evening I looked up this random exhibition of Ukrainian um, artists and I really didn't expect anything from it but I loved it. Um, I don't know how to talk about art but there were a lot of paintings that were uh, something I really like, like really mm, colorful and with a lot of symbolism. I don't know. It was really interesting and then we visited this gluten-free cafe so that was cool. And then we had a movie night, which might sound super boring, except for the fact that my boyfriend and I watch like two movies a year. <laughs> and we usually have a movie night only on um, New Year's Eve. But yeah, yesterday we watched a movie and I saw Hocus Pocus for the first time. And <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun. It was enjoyable. That one song, like I put a spell on you, is still stuck in my head, so... That's something. But yeah, today it's already half past one and in the morning I ran some errands and then I made some stir fry because I had some leftover rice and it was a new recipe. It was by Madeline Olivia, who's one of my absolute favorite vegan YouTubers. Like she has these really simple but delicious recipes. I will link her channel in the description. So yeah, that was delicious and now I would like to read or watch YouTube or stuff like that, but the apartment is an absolute mess, so I'm going to clean and I'm going to try to listen to an audiobook. I know that a lot of people like to listen to audiobooks while cleaning or like they say it's the perfect time, but I feel like I need to concentrate on what I'm doing because like I'm not practical and I could do something dumb, but I will try to listen to an audiobook because like I need to both tidy up and do some deep clean so I expect to be cleaning for several hours so yeah I really would like to use that time and I, I'm still listening to your money or your life so 
I'm probably going to listen to that. Hey, it's Monday, so it's time to wrap up this vlog. So in the past week I finished two books. First I finished What If It's Us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera. I ended up really enjoying it and I gave it four stars. And then also I finished Your Money or Your Life. I finished it today but doesn't matter. And I feel like I could talk about this book for a long time because well I'm really interested in personal finance and financial independence. Stuff like that. Although it took me longer than I expected to get through this, I ended up really enjoying it. It was like listening to your worldly grandmother telling you how to live. The author is a boomer, but she seems very well aware of how things are for millennials. The book mostly talks about money in general, but when it is specific, it focuses on the American situation. So some of the stuff didn't apply to me and it's always so frustrating to hear about um, how people have to pay so much money for college and healthcare. That's just, that's just not fair. And I really liked a lot of the topics or themes it covered. I mean, she talked about being environmentally friendly and about the importance of savings and like that being frugal doesn't have to be something that deprives you of stuff but it can be really fun and creative and rewarding stuff like that she also mentioned that she really values um, involvement in community and one more thing with non-fiction books the voice or the tone of the book is so important because sometimes it can sound really preachy or judgmental, but this book was really free of any judgment. I mean, she even mentioned that you should always assess your situation and like proceed with the quote, no shame, no blame in mind. So yeah, that's something I also really liked. So yeah, I enjoyed it, I would recommend it and I gave it four stars. So yeah, that is all for this reading vlog. Leave me a comment and tell me what you're reading or how you're doing or leave me any other comment. 